yesterday when I was wearing the same sweatshirt, we talked about all our angles in degrees. Today we're going to start talking about them using radians. So to define a radian, consider a circle with a radius r centered at the origin. One radian is the measure of an angle in standard position whose terminal side intercepts an arc of length r. That's a lot. Because the circumference of a circle, right, from your geometry days, the circumference formula was 2 pi times the radius, and we're using radian, one radian, as our radius, then the circumference of a full circle would be 2 pi radians. I know. Another thing, come on, you're going to use this in the unit circle. So that's why we're learning it. So I want to draw a couple things on this little diagram we got here. Uh, if I can, there we go. So I would recommend jotting these down too. So draw a circle, maybe. One full circle is two pi radians. And again, that is derived from the circumference formula. One half of the circle, which is 180 degrees, would be half of two pi radians. So 180 degrees would just be one pi radians. Basically, one pi. Half of that would be up here at 90 degrees, and that's half of 180 degrees, so it would be half pi radians. So the way you're going to see that is pi over 2 radians. So every 90 degrees is one half of a radian. So half radian, two halves radians, which is one radian. This would be three quarters, or sorry, three halves radians. So that's 270 degrees would be three pi over two radians. And these are just things you're going to see a lot. So it might be super confusing looking now, but you're going to use these radians quite a bit. Um, we're going to be tossing back and forth between the degrees and radians. So we're going to draw an angle with the given measure in standard position and tell which quadrant the terminal side lies in. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell you guys right now how to convert radians into degrees. We're going to have to do it later as well. But remember, like, 180 degrees was 1 pi. So we need to figure out what portion of that 180 degrees we have. So we're just going to take, like, 5 pi over 6. We're just going to do 5 sixths of... 180 degrees. And then we'll be able to figure out the measure. Now, you can do that in your calculator, or you can simplify. Like, 6 goes into 180 degrees 30 times, so it's just 5 times 30, which will be 150 degrees. So again, 5 sixths of a pi would be almost all the way to 1 pi, which that makes sense, because 1 pi is 180 degrees, so this would be most of the way there. So we're going approximately 150 degrees, which will be about there, but we're going to label it with the 5 pi over 6 radians. Uh, and which quadrant does that lay in? You remember your quadrant order, it's kind of like the letter C. Right? It goes quadrant one, two, three, four. So this would lie in quadrant two. And again, this kind of stuff comes back into play in 10-3. This is why we're learning. All right. So for B, negative pi over four. Again, we could just take that. We could take the fraction part of it, which would be negative one-fourth and multiply it by 180 degrees. Negative 1 fourth times 180 is negative 45 degrees. So if we were to draw that, 